Hello everyone and uh, good morning I guess. <laughs> nice and early morning here, birds are chirping, I'm having my morning coffee. Mm. Uh, just brought you out here this morning with me to have my morning coffee and listen to the birds as the sun rises over the trees. signs of spring around the corner as you can see I'm not as heavily dressed we also are looking forward to um, a little bit of heat today 26 degrees Celsius <laughs> uh, yeah I'm actually I'm actually quite happy about it the cats are very happy about it they are all over the place and just exploring except for San <laughs> here with me this morning and uh, yeah, um, I'm really looking forward to spring this year. I think we've put a lot of effort into this garden and a lot of work and made a few changes and really done everything we can. And I think the work that we did in the first season has done a lot to improve uh, the chances of, of this garden really succeeding on its own, you know, being far more sustainable, more like um, a permaculture setting. So there's a lot less hands-on work you know the no dig garden sort of philosophy as well and um, yeah I'm basically just I'm very excited to see that succeed and that you know like bloom into fruition if you will oh yeah <laughs> I love the tiny birds here in the morning we have sunbirds and mouse little mouse birds and all sorts of kinds that visit the garden it's quite sweet. Soon enough the bees will start coming in and enjoying the flowers from the nasturtiums and the everything aloe. Um, it's a bit of a buzz you know, mid-morning here, it's quite sweet actually. Uh, but yeah, why don't we jump in to the actual garden and I can show you what seedlings we've put in this year and you know what our plans are. They are very limited, our focus is being shifted elsewhere. Um, I don't want to give too much of that away just yet there's lots of plans that are busy happening there so I don't actually want to elaborate too much but yeah our focus is shifted elsewhere at the moment with other plans and other projects so we won't be growing as much this year and uh, yeah that kind of sucks but at the same time we couldn't help ourselves we have to continue growing I mean we have to grow something at least tomatoes right so yeah let me take you around and uh, I'll show you a bit of the flowers in the garden and uh, yeah what we've decided to put in <laughs> we decided to go with a variety of flowers this season and incorporate more flowers into our general gardening habits we went with a lot of different types of pansies or violas mostly the giant kind we have like a yellow and a maroon burgundy one and then there's sort of a light purple that is you know it's like a dark purple that goes out into a nice light purple and a white one i believe that will nicely complement most of our greenhouse and bring color in there and then for the rest of the garden we have the white sweet alyssum coming up as well as the nasturtiums that I have that we have over there there being lots of bright oranges and uh, what else what else I can't really think right now um, oh yes the lavender is actually coming up which you know, before I never really was that much into lavender but now I'm, I'm quite enjoying it lavender is coming out and all of the other um, plants are starting to flower so the everything aloe has been flowering that's a nice yellow flower and the lime is flowering the borage is still flowering funny enough but i'm sure that will come to an end pretty soon and then we also have a variety of sunflowers that we put in and a variety of zinnia seeds and marigold seeds so yeah um soon enough we should actually have something quite magnificent quite beautiful to look at and walk through the garden and have a real you know cottage garden style little place for us i think the bees are going to absolutely 
enjoy it. Um, our landlady, her son, he keeps bees on the on the property, and I'm pretty sure they come down this way. They venture this far down, but nonetheless, the wild bees will still be mega happy, and all the other pollinators. It's particularly when we water, you can see a lot of different pollinating bees, as well as you know, like solitary bees, those sort of things, and a few different types of wasps that come. You see them drinking water, and you know, just doing their thing. It's actually. It's actually quite beautiful. It's like a tiny little insect metropolis in our garden for the summertime. Uh, aphids have started, but they're mostly going towards the leftover brassicas and the nasturtium. So yeah, not too not too worried there. Um, so let, why don't we jump into the other seedlings that we got then? We decided to buy seedlings instead of starting most, mostly from seed this year because of the time crunch and how difficult it's been to seed start without a proper setting in this area. And um, one of the nurseries that's close to my grandparents' house, they we just really like them. They have very healthy seedlings and we've never had an issue with uh, transplanting these seedlings in this area and their soil is very similar to ours. So yeah, just really easy. What did we go with? We decided to get some yellow and green peppers. These are, I believe, the California wandering peppers is what other people call them. Here in South Africa, they're just green peppers or sweet peppers. We don't really differentiate um, our pepper names too much. It's mostly just a hot pepper or a sweet pepper. That's and its color. So getting the name of a pepper can can be quite difficult in South Africa if it's not an artisanal product. <laughs> and then with those, we got the flowers as seedlings from the same nursery. We got some tomatoes, some coriander, and then some beetroots and just, you know, average run of the mill beetroot. We put all of those in and it's looking fantastic. They're all really happy. They've been in for a few weeks now. We haven't had any die off, so yeah. Oh, for those of you who don't know, coriander is cilantro. They're the, the same thing, but yeah, here in South Africa, it's coriander seeds, coriander leaf, coriander everything. We don't use the word cilantro. And we still have a few of the brassicas left over that got munched down by the rodent, the rodent attack. Some of them are trying to grow back, so we just. You know, we're just leaving them in there and letting them do their thing. We're not getting too fussed. Um, what else? What else? Other oh, tomatoes that we got, the varieties are all cherry tomatoes. Again, has to do with our focus at the moment. Um, plus, fresh cherry tomatoes are just freaking delicious. Freaking delicious. We're trying one new variety, which is called the Heartbreaker. Um, you know, it's a, quite a small little tomato, and when you cut it in half, it looks like a little heart apparently so ah, when those come come too we'll be able to show you um, show you what they look like and tell you how they taste probably make some delicious roast cherry tomatoes I imagine or like a toast or for a soup or something of, of some kind I think it would be quite tasty <laughs> then we also threw in some carrot seeds and we have a few potatoes and sweet potatoes that are busy doing their thing Carrot seeds have germinated and they're standing and their first true leaves are busy coming out. It's quite exciting. <laughs> we also put a bunch of carrots in or carrot seeds in the greenhouse just to fill up some spaces. And we bought one extra strawberry to put on the other side of the aisle so that over time strawberries can just fill out that whole area and it becomes essentially a little strawberry greenhouse you know so it makes it nice and easily manageable for whoever will be taking over this property after us <laughs> then uh, we have a few pea plants that grew throughout the winter and they've started making pods and peas so we seeded some more peas that are starting to germinate and a few green bean plants that are starting to germinate and if i remember correctly uh, that is pretty much it. We haven't got too much else going on other than what has been left over from last season and that would include you know the artichoke and the perennials like the rosemary and our tarragon and oregano 
time so those things are all um, starting to grow quite vigorously now and hopefully the ginger and turmeric will also come up and create a nice bit of greenery in the garden a nice bit of light greenery in the garden <laughs> So yeah, that is actually what we're pretty much up to at the moment. In terms of plans, we are not looking at you know, doing anything more exciting than what we have done now and just helping everything come out and flower as it should. Um, you know, all grow as it should during this time and really just enjoy the little bit of the fruits of our labor that will come from the garden this year while you know supporting local local farms and buying fresh produce from you know lo local producers and that will substitute most of our food here which yeah very excited about actually i i wish i could be spending more time in the garden this season but this is how it has to be for now like i said we have a new project coming along and it's it's oh, it's quite extensive it's been a few years in the planning now it's finally in the last stages and <laughs> I can barely hide my excitement you know when something just takes so long to accomplish it's just almost unbelievable that you're nearing the end and um, when everything is in place and it's you know it's absolute and we know exactly what the details are i will share all of that with you and i'm sure many of you will be just as excited and feel you know feel that that passion and that desire to go for this you know go for something that we've been wanting for so long but anyway so that's what we got in the garden we we are here we are excited about spring coming to town if you will you know love has come to town I don't know if any of you are talking heads fans <laughs> but spring has come to town and here we are spring has come to town I'm ridiculously excited we have our seedlings in the ground we have the few seeds that we put in that have started germinating and I look forward to the abundance of flowers in our garden this year <laughs> so yeah Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Ciao!